Okay, this is my preview of the Osprey Shuttle 130 um, rolling bag. So, it, of course, you can see it's one on the right. Um, just recently got it a couple of days ago uh, through Amazon. And to the left is my old suitcase, which I've had for many, many years. It's a uh, Samsonite. Um, took it on a cruise a few weeks ago. And... During the trip, I realized that the uh, plastic frame inside of it had dry rotted. Um, don't use this suitcase that often. It's a rarity that I ever use a big, large bag like the one on the left on, on trips for more than five days. So um, afterwards, I decided to go ahead and I purchased the Osprey shuttle. And I wanted to kind of do a preview of the shuttle because I haven't. I'm not going to do a full re review yet anytime soon. But kind of want to give you my take on certain things uh, between uh, both bags. So there are some features I do like about the Osprey um, shuttle, but I will miss it uh, compared to the old uh, Samsonite suitcase. So uh, let me get started. So first, let me talk about the features I like about my old suitcase. Like I say, uh, I'm sorry, it's not Samsonite, it's a Ricardo. Sorry. So basically, I've had this suitcase for about uh, close to 15 years, maybe a little bit longer. I'm not sure, um, but usually when I go out for several, you know, more than seven days, even more than five days, this is pretty much the bag that I take. Um, as you can see, it's the uh, pretty much old style um, caster wheels on the outside, not like the uh, four four caster wheels you see on newer modern day luggage. I'm not a fan of those little caster wheels because they could easily break. And um, for me, it's just a lot easier just to have the uh, two wheels on the outside, you know, for stability and stuff like that. This bag has pretty much served me well. And um, as you can see, the fabric and everything is still in excellent shape. You know, I, I uh, don't abuse it. I store it well in a good, nice, dry, cool place. So, um, in a nutshell, it has all these outer pockets. Of course, it has the top pocket here, two zippers, put some items in there. Uh, the bottom pocket here, and there's another pocket behind this one that you know I can store items in. So basically, if I need quick access to anything, I can just go straight to it without having to open the main compartment. This suitcase also has a garment compartment built in. So that way you can put, um, you know, your slacks, dress shirts, anything you, you know you want you want to keep uh, um, in here without having to take an extra bag. Had extra pockets in here and everything. Had uh, tie down uh, for your clothes and everything like that. So you know I definitely love this feature right here. So it kept your nice clothes separate from the main compartment. As you see, lots of space. Um, has a little plastic bag if you want to put like your dirty clothes, whatever, behind it. Had a little zipper so all your main clothes can sit on top and everything out like that. Um, had one side pocket here uh, for different items, but uh, definitely plenty of space. Uh, but like I said, the, the plastic frame, I don't know if you can hear that, is gone. All dry rotted. Especially on this side right here. Now, I'm not sure whether or not that is due to age or whether or not um, how it was handled on the plane. So I'm definitely going to miss this bag. So I decided to go with the... Um, Osprey shuttle um, after my research and everything like that because I do own a few Osprey bags. Um, let me adjust the camera here. Hold on a second. So one of the reasons um, I got it, of course, is capacity and size. So before I go any further, this suitcase is 30 inches tall. 
20 inches wide, 12 inches in depth, and that's without you know anything uh, stored in it. And I think I came up to 7,200 cubic inches. Yeah, 7,200 cubic inches, which pretty much boils down to um, 117 liters. So this is a 117 liter bag. Okay. So you know, like I said, lots of capacity. You know, has has served me well. Now the Osprey, according to the specs, is 36 inches tall, uh, 16 inches wide, 15 inches in depth. And they calculate that this bag is roughly 130 liters. So um, I do enjoy, or like with Osprey, you have the compression, the outer compression strap, so you can you know, really cinch down your load or um, further um, uh, on the inside. The inside also has compression straps, so you can you know, keep things stable. Um, I do like the um, the side uh, the side here. Um, I forgot what it's called. It's the, the, the side wing that helps keep things you know cinched. Material is very nice, very sturdy, very durable. Um, it has two um, uh, buckles here on the side, so when you're storing the bag, you can run these straps all the way over. All the way over to the side, so like if you don't have anything, you're just storing it away. You can really sit down and conserve space. Um, I have some items in here I want to show you um, in the video. Uh, definitely like the uh, the caster wheels, high road chassis. Um, the handles on on both sides and the top are very uh, durable, strong, and padded. So it's great for when you're lifting. Um, out, of, out of a trunk of a car or just lifting in general, you know, your hands are very, very comfortable. Uh, what I also like about the bag is this bottom compartment here. Now this bottom compartment is a very huge compartment in that you can stuff like here. I wear a 15 size shoe. I'm sorry, 14. <laughs> 14 size shoe, so two pairs of shoes, you know, in the bottom, and it's separate from the main compartment. Um, you can also put in a nice, a nice large size blanket or even a small sleeping bag can go in this side compartment. You can also use it to, uh, like I see in some of the videos, some of the reviews, use it to, to a place to store your dirty clothes on your trip. So your dirty clothes can stay separate from you know, your, your clean clothes. Only thing you have to keep in mind is whenever you use this compartment, uh, which I'll demonstrate later on in the video, it does take up some space in the main compartment, but you can work around it, it's adjustable, you can lift it and stuff all your packing items underneath of it and, and what have you. So that's a nice feature that I like. Oh, also too, the handles have these very durable um, uh, uh, little tabs that you can grab onto for the zipper. You also have this talk apartment here. That's also roomy for you no know, items, you know, nice large space so you can drop small items there and also get quick access to them. So you have quick access here to the top. And also, this back apartment here, you have a flap for your ID folder, and of course it says ID right there, so you, know, the, the, you can hide your ID out of place. So you have a main pocket here, and actually, if I'm not mistaken, yes, it's, it's one compartment here. So there's one compartment here, you can put flat items, uh, magazine, small um, MP3 player, you know, you know, headphones, I mean, not headphones, but, uh, yes, headphones. The, the, um, the earbuds, you can stuff some small items in there. And then you also have this main compartment in the back, which has a mesh zipper pocket at the top, store some items, and then you can also store extra stuff behind in the back. So I have this duffel bag for demonstration. So, you know, whenever I learn whenever you travel, if your bag is overweight, it's nice to have collapsible extra bag that you can take it with you to 
take some things out of the main compartment, lighten the load so you don't get charged crazy astronomical airline fees. So I uh, learned that from a friend. Now, the only, oh, I'm sorry, main compartment. Sorry about that. I just realized I didn't have everything in camera view, so I'm going to start back over from uh, main compartment. So, all these items that I have so far is what I used uh, last night because I had it pre packed for another bag. Uh, so, I have this medium packing cube here, small packing cube for. Um, that I have, what I think, t shirts, socks, and, and, and like in this bag. Toiletry bag. Uh, giant packing cube filled with other packing cubes. This is another company I was uh, trying to see if I liked their product, uh, Pro Packing Cubes. I'm going to do a separate uh, video to compare these packing cubes with packing cubes from REI and also from Osprey. Two bath towels. Another toiletry bag for my other bags. Another small pack cube with electronics. Another pack and cube with um, other clothes and items. So basically, that's just a start. And let me zoom out here. This bag still has plenty of capacity. Lots of capacity. And as I was saying earlier about the bottom compartment, when you fill it up, okay, it does take up some space, you know, in the main compartment. But however, if you stuff it just right, you can lay all your items on the bottom and lay this on top and you should be good to go. So I'm pretty sure if you've seen the other videos, you have side pocket here you know, solid material and then on the other side you have another pocket that's mesh I don't know if you can see it very well on the camera and both these side pockets go all the way the entire length of the bag so there's plenty of room you know there uh, so now that together. Now my only gripes about this bag, and of course I know it's an adjustment coming from traditional suitcase, is that once you have things packed here in the bag and you cinch everything down, if it's something you actually really need out the main compartment, you would have to undo all the straps. Let me adjust the camera angle. Hold on a second. Okay. Yeah, you would have to pretty much undo all the straps to get access to the main compartment. So, basically, in essence, you have to make sure when you pack this bag, you do have options. So, like I said earlier, you have the top compartment here. You have the bottom compartment there at the bottom, and you have these two small compartments in the back. So it just depends on how you pack this bag. So basically you have to kind of think what you need quick access to and other items that you don't necessarily need to have access until you reach your destination. So this bag is, um, is very nice overall. You know, I like it. Now... Um, I have read in some of the Amazon reviews um, about this bag, about the handle being short. Okay, as you can see, that's it. That's as tall as this handle goes. Now, compared to my other bag, it appears that it has a pretty long handle compared to the Osprey. But you have to also think in terms of 
basically all handles are roughly the same height. They're not that much or far off different. Now, since this bag is shorter than that, it's going to have a longer handle. And as you can see, I'm 6'4", so I don't have a problem with rolling this behind me. But I understand with the Osprey, because the bag is already 36 inches tall, you don't need a super long handle because as you're walking along or traveling, and if you, like say so you go behind somebody, you don't want to walk behind them and clip them, you know, with a long handle because you can easily do that. If this handle is long enough and you're walking, you got to make a turn somewhere, and let's say someone's standing, you know, you got to be cognizant of, okay, I got to swing out wider than normal to go around someone or go around an object because it's easy just to walk behind somebody, you know, and just turn. Turn and clip them in the leg, you know, clip them in the leg while you're turning and, you know, you're, you know, you're not aware of it. So, so for myself, the handle's still fine. I, you know, I've walked around the house with it. Um, it doesn't affect my stride, you know, while I'm walking. And, you know, the handle is very nice. It has, uh, let's see if I can show it to you. It has little groove fingers here. So that way, you know, air can get in and your hands don't sweat. And, you know, it makes the you know, grip a lot more comfortable. Um... The only other odd item I'm not a big fond, not big on, and I know it's going to take me a while to get, a, get used to it, are the zippers, because this is a soft bag. Now this side, sometimes I have you no know, problems with unzipping, and I know I just have to get used to, you know, zipping, unzipping, whereas with the old suitcase, you've had a plastic frame, so the zippers, you know, had that frame to go around, you know, it's not a soft bag. But this being a soft bag, you know, this stuff you have to get used to. Um, I also have red and some of the reviews, like if you overstuff it, you know, it'll come out, you know, this far. It may tip over. I can see that happening. Um, you know, if you over if you if you overpack it, it becomes front heavy and then it tips forward. But so far, uh, what I packed in it last night, uh, the bag pretty much stood up straight. You know, it didn't wobble or anything like that. It wasn't easy to, you know, to hit or topple over. Um, but I guess you just have to be mindful when you pack this bag. Uh, don't make it too top heavy. Um, yeah, just don't make it too top heavy. Um, granted, it is a little bit expensive, but you know, Osprey has their, you know, their their guarantee. So if anything happens to it, you know, you can, you know, send it back to Osprey. Um, so yes, I'm I'm really looking forward to uh, you know really using this bag. I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do another review um, on a trip, hopefully which will be not too distant future, where I can take this bag and give it a better uh, uh, overall synopsis. Um, but yeah, I like it so far. You know, I like the color. You know, black and uh, green. You know, um, color just like my Austin Porter 65. My Osprey Porter 30. So as you can see, I like Osprey products. So I'm going to do a separate review on these two bags here, along with the uh, packing cubes uh, from Osprey and other different uh, manufacturers. So that's it in a nutshell. So this is an overview of the Osprey Shuttle 130 uh, rolling bag. I did forget to mention one thing. Um, kind of like a wish list, but I know it's not going to happen anytime soon. A feature that I wouldn't mind seeing on the Osprey shuttle that's on the Osprey Porter. So they're both similar in style, so the difference that you know, of course, naturally the shuttle's a lot bigger than the Osprey Porter. Um, the thing I wish you know the, the shuttle had is a front pocket um, on the front, just like this uh, Porter does. So you know, you can put items here, you know, inside, have a little flap. So even if you were to take the um, the, cinch down, the, the, the cinch straps off, you can still get quick access and then snap everything back together. I wish the shuttle did have, you know, that feature on that. That would have been a very nice feature. It didn't have to be a super huge pocket, um, probably like halfway, but just enough to where you can just, like I said, take cinch strap off 
get access to it, and then buckle everything back. You know, so again, uh, that's just a feature, a wish feature. You know, maybe down the road, um, I, can, I can email Osprey and suggest that to them. Um, and other than that, um, I'll let you know a few review, full review, um, and not too distant future.